I'm standing in my very own greenhouse. Look at that. You see that? My husband, bless his soul, helped me out because I looked on Pinterest and I found this really good idea to take PVC and I took it from, well, you can even see the holes are still there, from here down and hooked them into the bottom. There was a board across there and like five of them. And I was so proud. I was so proud. It lasted until the first big windstorm and then <laughs> the plastic was going crazy in here and I felt like I had to hold on to it or the whole thing was going to go down to the river. So that was a big Pinterest fail, but I, I was so excited about it, which makes me so mad. And then, um, my husband decided he would help me and I found these windows on Craigslist. I'll come outside so you can see they're really big windows and they're really perfect because they open and I can water the plants from out here. Or I can go inside because he gave me this door right here, which I think is so cute. I will eventually paint this to match the shed once we figure out what color we're going to do. And here's all my little baby landscape plants. Um, the first row here, closest to the, the back, is Sky Pencil Hollies. The second row is winter gem boxwoods and I think that they have some powdery mildew on them so I'm trying to fix that uh, but they're the only ones that have that for some reason and then the third row there is azaleas and they're like a salmon colored flower so I'm excited about those and then this fourth row that look like little dead sticks <laughs> those are crepe myrtles and then this last row here is four season gardenias, which is like a white flower. And um, they flower for a long time, which gives, that's where they get their name, the four season gardenias. So I'm really excited about those. Um, and then over here, I only have five of these, but they're Fuja Blue Cone Arbovitas. And then there's one there. They get really big and they're good for privacy, like fences. Um, I don't know if we have any need for them here, but it would be good for like in town, I think, well, maybe like the suburbs, so like a privacy fence type thing. And then right here is my little blueberry bush and it doesn't look like much right now, but I'm really praying that it lives because my kids eat blueberries by the, I mean, like they can go through a container in one sitting. I, so I'm hoping that one lives. And then right here, this is my parents' plant. Spiky, I like to call him, because it's very spiky. And he's doing really well. The only thing I actually know about this plant is that it's hardy to 32 degrees, which today's 37. It's gotten really a lot colder than 32, but I think because it's in here protected from the wind and the frost, it's it's living, it's doing fine. And then right here, um, in this little tote, I have taken different cuttings from both here and from my mother-in-law's house, which in here there's rhododendron cuttings and, uh, hydrangea cuttings. So, is that right? Yeah, hydrangea cuttings. So, we'll see if those make it. Um, I'm hoping that they do because... The one here is a rhododendron out front, and it's really pretty. I'm wanting to give the owner um, one of these plants, if it makes it, <laughs> because she grew up here. So I think that would be really cool to be able to give her. Um, around here, I've got black milk jugs. They're just filled with water. And I've had, I had the kids paint them black so that during the day when it's sunny, not today, but they absorb sunlight, and then during the night when it's really cold, um, they give off heat. So, it's been working so far, and it's been pretty cold. Like, I mean, today's not bad, but we've had days where it's dipped down to, like, in the teens at night, which is 
pretty cold and they've been doing fine. I came out one time and everything in here was frozen solid, so, but that didn't last long. And they still look like they're doing fine. So yes, this is my greenhouse and I hope that by springtime all these little plants will get big and strong and we can sell them at the farmer's market. Thanks for watching.